How's it going 3D printers? Andrew Sink here, and in this video, we're going to be talking about 3D printing with marble filament. We'll go over some of the common questions, like what is it, and what is it used for, and we're going to dive into seeing how it looks on some of our printed models. For this video, I'll be using the Everyone Marble PLA filament that I purchased from Amazon. It's about average price for a spool of specialty filament, and when we look at the material on the spool, you'll see it has a slight texture to it. This is from some black additives that are added to the otherwise gray material that give it the signature marble look. Support breaks off this material pretty easily, and you can see it makes organic shapes look very smooth. For models with smooth vertical contours, you can see it looks almost indistinguishable from stone, and the detail is highlighted very well. So let's take a look at a model that was printed using this material. This first object is called Upper Body of a Giant, and it's from my mini factory's Scan the World campaign. I printed a few different versions of the sculpture, and the version we're going to be looking at was printed using the 300 micron draft mode on my Prusa. Like most prints using this material, the support structure is fairly easy to separate, and it snaps right off some of the larger parts of the model. Using pliers for the more intricate pieces, we can peel it away without a whole lot of resistance. The model itself had a skipped layer in the top right, but the printer was able to recover and finish the print. I also experimented with printing some simple geometric shapes, like this stone gazebo, and you'll notice some of the flat edges, like the stairs on the steps, look very sharp, and the marble effect is really pronounced. The marble filament has a little bit of a learning curve, but I think the results make it more than worth the time it takes to get this material dialed in. I've included links in the description to all the models used in this video, as well as a link to where you can find the marble filament itself. As always, thanks for watching and have fun printing.